guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tishal Julisa. If you're new here, take a second and subscribe to my channel down below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as you already know from the title and the thumbnail of this video, I'm going to be doing a hair review on this Bob wig. So I did get this hair in the mail, and this is the packaging it came into. And it also came with a wig cap. Um, and then when you take it out the package, it comes into this. It is a pre-plucked 12 inch wig. I'm gonna put the link below of where I got the wig. It was on AliExpress. Um, it came in an eight inch, a 10 inch, and a 12 inch, and this is the 12 inch. Um, it's virgin hair, and what else? It's 180 density. When I ordered the wig, honestly, I did not remember ordering a T-bob wig, but I sure did. So it's a T-bob wig, so it's a middle part. And I am a side part girl, but I guess I was in the mood to try something different when I ordered it. So it's a middle part wig. Um, it's a T, a T part wig. So it only has lace like at the front and in the middle. And when I when I looked at the pictures, when I looked at the pictures of what other people got, just to see if that's something I wanted, the reason I got it because it had more space. Like there was more lace at the front. Like the hair was up a little bit further. But on this, it doesn't have that much room. Like literally, this is a lace, and then you can see like the tracks underneath. But I was never planning to do a style with the wig anyway. I feel like that's why I ordered um the T part. But I I I honestly thought I had more room at the front. But otherwise from that, I do like the wig. Uh, I like the quality. I like the way it feels. I love that it has the two clips on the side as well as the back. And it also has the straps in the back. And not only does it have the straps in the back, it has a whole band. So I feel like this wig is given like secure. I feel like it's because you, you guys should know that I love my glueless wig. So it's definitely given like you don't have to glue it down on your head you can if you want to but it's definitely given you don't have to so i'm just gonna cut off the lace i'm going to add the concealer on it i'm just gonna like slay this wig like i normally do like cut off the lace put my concealer underneath and pluck the baby hairs and just pull it down and lay it at the front of my hair um for the price of the wig it was really good it was on sale already i want to believe so it came up to 42 dollars and then i got some savings on it as well so honestly i only paid like 35 dollars for this wig almost 36 dollars so i'm not going to complain and it's virgin hair so you could actually style it so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to come back on camera and tell you guys how i feel about it how it looks and yeah let's get into it and see what it's looking like. so i'm just going to show you guys quickly what it's looking like so it's like asymmetrical and i didn't think it was going to be like that so it's like short in the back and then it's getting longer at the front and I just don't think I like that. So I think I'm just gonna cut it off. I think it'll look so much better straight. I mean, what do you guys think? I'm gonna cut it. So if you guys vote for this and I cut it off, it's gonna be too late. But I just don't think it looks You guys, so let's jump into this wig review. So it is the next day. You guys, this wig took me a little bit longer to style than I thought. So I ran out of time. So I had to like continue the next day. So this is what it's looking like. And to be honest, looking at me dead on, you could kind of see the lace. But to be honest, what I see in the mirror is when I put my head like this. This is what I see in the mirror. I don't see that lace when I look in the mirror. So I feel like... um this wig is a wig that you're gonna definitely have to dye or bleach your knots. You're gonna have to bleach the knots so it can blend a little bit more. I did exactly what I did to all my wigs, is which is to put concealer on it, and I did, but I don't know, it's just not quite blending. Or I probably just have to melt the lace in a little bit more. But like I said, I did the exact thing that I did to all these wigs, but I feel like this wig just needs a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more time. So I feel like if I tie that down, it probably would blend a little bit more. Um, is that a white hair that you guys see? I pulled one out and I feel like there's a few. See, there's one here, a white strand. That's just like blood. And I feel like I just seen another white strand. So there's like a few white strands in there. Nothing that really bothers me too much. Um, this hair is very soft when I was playing around with it as you guys seen when it was like asymmetrical I put curls in it. It was fine. Everything was really good All I used was I think my what is it? Chi Soul fusion. I just used that in the hair 
to help curl it and stuff. And yeah, I felt like it, it stayed, the curl stayed. I just didn't like it. And as you guys can see, I did cut it and I feel like I love it like this. Like this fits my face a lot better. So if you guys look, if you guys like the asymmetrical look, sorry, if you guys like the asymmetrical look, go back and look at it and then look at this. Like I feel like this fits my face so much better. So when you're buying the hair and it says like 10 inch, 12 inch, I think, was it 12 inch that was the longest? Yeah, 12 inches is the longest. I feel like this is where the length is going. It couldn't be at the back because the back is already short. So the length is coming from the front. So I feel like I would definitely buy like the eight inch, 10 inch because this is the 12 inch and I cut it off anyway. And to be honest, I would cut it even shorter into like a shorter bob. I think that'd be so cute. But anyway, so this hair is very soft. It's easy to curl. Um, it's very secure on my head. I did write down notes so I didn't like miss anything for you guys. It's very secure on my head. Um, I never really glue my lace down. I use either like edge controller or a little bit of Gots TV glue at the front just, you know, to hold it on. I don't use the clips on the side anymore because my real hair is more important than any wig, okay? So I do not use the clips on the side of my head. I'd rather just use a little bit of Gots TV glue at the front to keep it on. And it has the band at the back. Sorry, it has the band in the back, like I said. So it's given very secure. Honestly, before I even like adjusted anything like i felt like as soon as i put on my head like i felt it it was nice and it was snug and that's what i like um i feel like the hair probably could be a little bit thicker this is 150 density once again that was the highest that they offer i feel like they should definitely think about maybe adding like a 180 like you know isn't a 180 sorry i have a 180 i feel like maybe they need like a 250 because i feel like when i move around i just i wish it was like a little bit thicker just a little bit, but that's my preference. I feel like this gives very much like real hair. This gives like silk press. Like, boo, this is this is my hair. Are you done? I just got a silk press, honey. This is what it gives. It gives overall. Silk I would say just buy the wig for the price thirty six dollars. Thirty six for virgin hair. Just buy the wig. Okay, this is a very good wig for the price. If I'm comparing the wig to the price, it's a very good wig for the price. So I would say buy the wig. You do have to um, tweak a little bit. I like to tell you guys if it's like big enough friendly or not. I feel like this wig is not quite big enough friendly, but it's not like to the extreme. You know, you just have to spend a little bit of time to just make it work for you, which is not necessarily a bad thing at all. Because I would rather a wig that gives me some room to play around with than a wig that you can't do anything with. And it's just stuck the way And is. I am loving this wig. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. Leave comments down below. Would you cut it shorter? Do you like it asymmetrical? What do you guys feel about it? But I am loving it. I think it's cute, especially for something that's different for me. The side, I mean, sorry, not the side part. Child, I wish it was the side part. The middle part, um, even the way that I got the baby hairs going. This is just a complete different look for me. And the fact that I like it, do it, honey. Okay, just do it. I hope you guys love this review. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Um, And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share.